science, technology, in engineering, mathematics, STEM. Last year, the women in science that I interviewed for my iQuest project all told me that they felt that the most important method of increasing the number of women in STEM careers is to start early by inspiring young girls in the form of role models. Because of this, I decided to start a STEM outreach community service program in which I visit area elementary schools to present to third graders about science and STEM. What would you picture the scientists to look like? Um, with a white lab coat and like, you know, like gray and white hair, like sticking straight out with all these like scissors in his hand, like yeah. <laughs> Why do you think science is important? Do you learn things? Um, you get more information from me. You get more information that you need to know about life. I call this program Girls Can Change the World with Science, and my goal is to promote excitement and interest in STEM subjects. I hope to engage elementary school girls to imagine the possibilities of future careers in the scientific field. So far, I have presented to 15 third grade classes at five different elementary schools in Virginia's Pennsylvania and Campbell counties, including one summer school class. The reason I chose to present to third graders is that third grade is a year in which students take the science as well test. My presentation includes an overview of the scientific method, a video about a bio jar experiment, which includes footage of actual microscopic organisms that I filmed through my microscope's eyepiece, an overview of how to perform an experiment, and an explanation of a science fair project in which I used my science fair project from middle school about how color affects temperature as an example. The students responded very enthusiastically to having the opportunity to help me explain the parts of a microscope, to discuss famous women scientists and their contributions, to talk about books on the subject of STEM, and to explore the connections between music and math. I have had a wonderful experience with this outreach effort so far, and I am thrilled that the students seem to be a bit more excited about science after the presentation. They asked animated questions and were eager to raise their hands and offer their input to the discussion of what makes science and STEM both interesting and vital to our everyday lives. So does anyone want to tell me what your favorite thing you've learned in science this year is? What is your favorite in life cycles? Um, mine is when Miss Hay was here when we were learning about the incompletion and all the pulleys and all kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, the simple machines. I remember when I was in um, elementary school we had to do a project with the simple machines and I oh, over... we did too. Yeah, yeah we did. I, I did a pulley. Oh, uh, yes. I, I, did, just, exactly. I did a win. How do you think your science SOL well went? Good. 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 It was easy. I'm so glad. Yeah, it was like very easy. <laughs> did you think that this presentation made science uh, seem a little bit more fun? Yes. Good. Um, do any of you, I know it's way too early to be thinking about it, but have any of you thought about what you'd like to be when you grow up? Space. Wow, so an astronaut. A vet? A nurse that helps people in nursing homes. Um, I want to be a science student. I want to be a horse Cool. So all of those careers involve STEM.